How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here, back playing some more Breath of the Wild today for you guys. It's looking a little bit dreary today here in Hyrule, a little bit overcast, kind of a downer day, but we're still going to have fun today. Oh, one thing I noticed, uh, for some reason the barrels in there respawn and I put a little bomb in there, so let's see what happens when I blow it up again. Okay, just an awesome explosion. No guys. Alright, so let's continue down the path over this way. We're going to head uh, to the west, southwest, and uh, see if we can find the old man's hut, because I'm pretty sure there's a recipe in there that we can use to uh, help us get the warm doublet, which is a piece of armor that we're going to need. What was that noise? Did you guys hear that? Oh! Oh my goodness, what have we here? That looks like a silver main Lionel. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I am very under prepared for this. Uh, let's see, I have, <laughs> I just have a woodcutter's axe and um, a couple bows. Yeah, I don't have enough weapons to take that Lionel, even if I wanted to. And yet, I need to get past him. That's the wood. That's his hut right there. I see it. Alright, we're going to wait till the Lionel turns around. We're just going to slowly... Slowly go this way. Hopefully he won't see us. Oh my gosh. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. I'm running. I'm running. No way. Oh my gosh. This is certain death. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. Temple of Time, save me from this crazy, scary monster down there. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go all the way around to avoid that guy. Well, that's a butterfly. Come back. Come back. I want you. Thank you. That is terrifying, though. We are definitely going to uh, kill that guy, but we're probably gonna have to come back and do it later. Sorry, squirrel, but I need the, the meat. Oh! I didn't even get meat. I just got acorn. Feels bad, man. Okay. Here's a, here's a enemy camp, which is good. There's a couple weapons over there I would really like to have. Always got to keep a lookout, man, for that Lionel. Let's grab the rush room real quick. There's also an enemy camp right there, but it's very close to the Lionel. I wonder if the Lionel would actually attack those guys. Like, I guess not. No, I wanted to kill those birds for meat. Oh well. Alright, so this is the old man's hut. Take the pitch. Oh, wow, that has seven damage. Beautiful. Nothing good in those barrels. Complete waste. A torch. Pot lid shield. Better than nothing. But more importantly, let's go inside. Because in here we have a lot of peppers. Which we can use to cook some food that will give us cold resistance. Another axe. This axe had so much durability, I gotta say. Ooh, a stamina shirt. Very useful. Alright, let's read his book real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. The Old Man's Diary. On this desolate plateau, the only pleasure that brings me comfort is cooking. And today I outdid myself. Truly, I created the perfect dish. I call it spicy meat and seafood fry. 
The recipe not only restores health, but it also keeps me warm, even when traveling in the snowy mountains. That's exactly what we want. With this dish on my side, I no longer have need of that itchy warm doublet. Ooh. I do not know how I allowed this to happen, but it seems I forgot to write down a very important recipe. I know it contained raw meat and spicy pepper. However, I simply cannot remember what else I used. My age is catching up to me. Sadly, on this lonely plateau, I have only my own knowledge and memory to rely on. Still, if I did find someone who knew the missing ingredient, I would happily reward them with my warm doublet. So, I think the recipe is Hyrule Bass, Spicy Pepper, and Hyrule Herb. But I don't have any of the Hyrule Herbs, so I'm not sure. Uh, if we can't really make it yet. Let's go look around and see if I can find... Actually, a Hylian Shroom might work. We'll try cooking it with the Shroom. If that doesn't work, we might need to go find a Hylian Herb, which usually they are not that difficult to find. I'm kind of surprised I can't find one right now. Two bird wings? Or drumsticks? Nice, got two of them. Worth the one arrow for sure. Apples are very important food source. Oh, there's a lizard over here too. Let's get that lizard. Now that we have the bombs, uh, we, there is actually a secret this way. Oh man, there's two enemies though. I might just blast them off the cliff. There's a secret over here that we can get to by chopping down that tree. Oh my goodness, it fell onto the other tree. I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> Alright, let's talk a little bit. Oh, 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 fancy that. So we meet again. What are you doing? I thought this tree here might make for some good firewood. Mm. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want it is quite an art. You should see what I just did over there, old man. The trick is to turn your hips. It's all in the hips. It's all in the hips. So that they face wherever you want the tree to land. Hmm. So, I see you found my axe. Well then, you're quite observant. Why not help me out and give it a few swings? I'm working up quite a sweat here, but these bones could use a break. I mean, if you really want me to. Easy. Oh, hey. Korok leaf. I guess I'll take it. I, actually, I might be able to use this to blow those enemies over. Oh, man. It actually felt my weight. Alright, can I sneak attack one of these guys? That would actually do a lot of damage. Alright, so far they're not seeing me, which is perfect. I have a feeling they will see me once I get closer, but... Sneak strike! I, I know his stick is actually, like, doesn't hardly do any damage. Let's just blow him away. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is gone. Alright, here's the secret, guys. All we need is to blow it up. I don't remember what it is, but I think it's an amber or something not that exciting. Oh, never mind. Five fire arrows. That's actually worth. Maybe in master mode it's actually better than the uh, regular mode. I'm not really sure if the items are all exactly the same or not. Alright, there is a lot of apples on this tree. I feel like I'm just going to chop it down. Alright. I don't think there's anything else over here, so let's just hop on back. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day, by the way, wherever you guys might be. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough. This is going to be so fun. I, I want to at least get the uh, warm doublet. Let's see if we can... Oh, there's a chest right there, too. Alright, we're going to have to take out the... Uh, they're having a party right there. We're going to have to take out the scout first. I only got three arrows, so I don't think I can miss. What do you think? That's a headshot right there. Easy. I don't think he sees me. Uh, we're gonna have to use a fire arrow. 
Alright, we took out the scout and nobody saw us, so that's perfect. Now let's sneak a little bit closer. There's a lot of enemies here, so I'm gonna have to be smart in how I approach this. I kind of want to just run up and take their weapons. Look at all those juicy weapons. All right, let's see. I only have three more slots. Um, might have to drop the torch or the Korok leaf. I want to sneak strike one, but I'm scared that if I do, my plan will backfire and they're all going to see me. Yup, it backfired. No! Oh my gosh! Actually, I think there's a bee nest over there. I could use it. I could use that bee nest to kill these guys. I almost died, by the way. And we are at zero deaths. So dying is not an option. Alright. The bees! I want to free the bees! Oh man, these guys are fast. Ow. <laughs> Dude! Don't kill me, please. Pitchfork is badly damaged. What? He hit me during a flurry rush? Alright, this is bad. I'm out of here. I am out of here. Bye, bye, bye. No, no, no. Don't follow me. No, no, no. No, no, no. Alright, they're gonna go back home. So, now that I see that they have a bee nest right there, I'm gonna approach this again. A little differently, though, this time. So, they instantly saw me when I got out of cover. How do I hit that bee nest? It's so far away, though. Let's see if I can hit it from behind these crates. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still getting over my sickness. I can. That's a long shot, man. I don't know if I can hit that. Oh, man. That's a really far shot. I don't think I can hit it from here. Like, I have to get closer. Just because of the angle. Alright, what if I go... I only have a couple shots on this on this bow. What if I sneak back up here? Right? They don't see me. Oh, they're going to sleep! Oh, perfect! Perfect, they're going to sleep! Oh, man. If only they put their weapons back, too. That would be even better. Alright, this should be great. Alright, I need these bees to come over here and do some damage. Oh! The bees aren't really doing a whole lot. Uh oh, this is bad. I don't even know if I have enough weapons to like... Oh my gosh. This is bad guys, this is bad. Where did their weapons go, though? Because, like... This is so hard, dude. I'm gonna run out of all my weapons. Alright, let me kill this guy at least. He's got a weapon. Did he drop it? No, he didn't. 
Drop your weapon. Alright, you know what guys? This is not even worth it! It's so hard to kill even one camp of Bokoblins because of my weapons being so pathetic. I mean, I could use all my fire arrows, but is it really worth it? Alright, you're chasing pretty far, dude. No, 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 you're not, you're not, you're not going away. Come and, come and take it. Dude, just die, please. Okay. Okay, let's 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 think about this. There's only two left, right? They're sleeping now, right? So I can do a sneak attack, right? So it'll kill probably one of them, pretty close to it. Man, I am almost dead though. Ugh. I really need to cook. Alright. I'm gonna sneak attack one for sure. There I will. The bees did not help me as much as I thought they would, okay? <laughs> Let's see if I can sneak attack this guy. Not really. We're doing fine, we're doing fine. There we go! Oh my goodness. This better be a good weapon in that chest, otherwise it's not even worth it, I feel like. Alright. Man. At least we cleared the camp. Feels good. Let's see what we get. Apples, some arrows, alright. Arrows are good. Apples. Lots of apples. I see that there's some more food over there, so we'll definitely go get those stamina. Stamina, stamella, mushrooms or whatever they're called. Let's grab that steak. Alright, what's our prize? A throwing spear, alright. Hey, it was a weapon. Hopefully it has a lot of durability. Oh, there's a chest in here too. I didn't realize that. Got all our arrows back. Five bomb arrows? Oh. Definitely worth it then. Alright. Definite, definitely was worth it. So, there is another way to get the warm doublet without cooking the, the recipe. And that is to make it all the way to the top of the mountain. If you make it to the top of the mountain in this area, the old man will just straight up give it to you. I saw some fireflies. I was going to try to catch some, but they're like disappearing. So the mountain I'm referring to, of course, is probably way up there. All right. If we find a Hylian herb first, then I'll cook the recipe. But if not, we're just going to make our way up. Alright, let's see if I can get some of these fireflies, because I think they give me a, a sneaking boost. Yep. Man, there's a lot of them here, too. Also, just for, like, healing items, because I can eat them. There's the shrine, so we are going to... Nighttime in this game, skeletons will pop up every now and then, so we just gotta be aware of that. Alright. I think we need to cook first. I need to find a cooking pot. You know where there was one? Okay, here we go. I 
actually. Those arms are really nice weapons. <laughs> They break right away, but the damage is actually good. Alright. This is the entrance to the snowy place. There should be some spicy peppers up here, which I can cook some more cold resistance with, but I need to find an actual cooking station. That's new. Very new. And I see a treasure chest over there, too. Oh. That's funny if you think that actually helps you. I would just shoot those down easily. Oh, there's a cooking pot right there. Surrounded by one, two, three enemies. Oh, boy. Here we go again. At least I have a lot more weapons this time, so... We should be able to do this. And you know what? I'm going to try to steal some of their weapons first. That was a fail last time. Hi, guys. That didn't even hurt them. Of course. Alright, I'm probably gonna get hit out of this blurry rush, but. Oh, that was good. That was really good. Alright, the arms break right away. I think the best way to go about this is focus on one enemy at a time because of the health regen. Alright, there's one. The other guy fell down, I think. I don't think he's coming back. I do not think he's coming back. Poke, poke, poke. No, 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 come back. I want your items. Um, I do want to get that stuff, but before we do that, let's just grab this stuff. Alright, now I can actually do some cooking. Time for cooking with Lucian. Alright. Oh, it needs a... Uh, it needs... It needs fire. Uh, right, how about this? Light my bow on fire and then boom. Easy. Alright. And I'll take the arrow back. Oh, beautiful. Alright, so the spicy peppers. So I'm going to do one of those, one of these, and we'll try a Hylian shroom and see if that is the recipe. But I don't think it is. <laughs> Go take a sip of tea while I cook. <laughs> Spicy pepper seafood? I don't think that was the name of the recipe that he was he was doing, so. But that's alright. We're gonna make some more spicy pepper food because we're gonna need the cold resistance. Oh, that's five minutes of cold resistance right there. I'm going to cook a bunch. Wow, that heals for a ton. I only need one of each. That healed for six hearts. There we go, two hearts. That's, that's a little bit. I don't need six hearts. Uh, let's throw in an acorn and just see what happens. Three hearts. That's like perfect. Um, I also have summer wing butterflies, which will also give me cold resistance. Dubious Food? What? 
Oh, I have to make these with monster parts to make an elixir. Alright. I thought the butterfly could have been cooked with... Alright, seven minutes right there. Let's also do some stamina. I need it at some point. Sometimes you're like climbing a cliff and all you need is a tiny little bit of stamina to make it over the top, you know what I mean? Just gonna use all of those. Let's do some sneaking stuff. It's good to have a little bit of everything. You never know where, what you're gonna come across in this game. And... Let's do some movement speed. Alright, so we got some food now. I'm gonna do an ultimate cold resistance. Ten minutes. Alright, so I think we're good at cooking. Let's let's go grab these items if they're still down there. And they are. What's this? Oh man, I just realized I hope I don't die from stamina. Oh, and I can also bomb that place over here. Uh oh. I'm gonna die from stamina, aren't I? Oh, I'm gonna die. No, I don't want to die. I, I didn't want to waste stamina like this, but... Oh. Oh. Kind of wasted that potion. Oh, well. Alright, let's see what's right here, guys. Remember the secret that we saw when we were getting the rusty broadsword up there? Weapon, please. Ah, oh, an opal. Alright. Excuse me. Alright, so we are now ready to do our journey into the cold mountains of the Great Plateau. We just have to make our way back up there, so actually we can climb over here. We're gonna climb right up here. Oh man, this is uh this is where it gets exciting. Too bad I didn't find any Hyrule herbs, man. I could have made that recipe for the old man, got the warm doublet easily, but we're gonna climb all the way up to the top. I think it's up there, and then we will get the warm doublet. And then I won't even need any of this cold resistance stuff, so it's alright. I got way more than I need, so. We're already almost at the time limit. But I'm going to go ahead and venture in here a little bit just to see how far we can get. Let's do that at least a three minute one. Uh oh. Sorry, bud. Can I open that? No, I cannot. And he has ice arrows. Ah, uh, I don't have cryosis yet. Wait a minute. What's this? No, 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 no. Come back. Maybe I can use this chest to, like, push the other chest. Alright. And there's an axe right here. Maybe I can use this chest to push this chest out of the water. Oh, I'm a genius! Same with those ice arrows. Up. What? Whoa! Whoa! 25 defense on that shield? Are you kidding me? Finally, something good? Alright. Let's use this again to get these items. 
Hold up, hold up. This way. Maybe I can reach him now. Maybe I can reach him. Oh, easy. You gotta stay resourceful, man. This way a little bit. Easy. Alright, there is a secret behind the waterfall, but I'm gonna have to make my way all the way over there. At least I'm pretty sure there is. Oh, there's a golden chest on that platform. Alright, so I'm gonna have to drop down from up there. Interesting. Should I just go... Normally, normally I go this way right away, but actually, guys, I think I want to explore this way. Maybe we can get that chest. Oh, there's some firewood here, too. And a Korok leaf. Probably, uh, so we can... Probably so we can move that boat, but I can't get to that boat yet. Alright. Let's go up this mountain. I only have 30 seconds of cold resist. Actually, oh man, we are already at the end of this episode, guys. We are past 30 minutes. Alright, so... We will continue our adventures into the cold area at the start of our next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next episode. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy. See you next episode, guys.